Hello, my name's David Morgan. I've been working in dyslexia and reading difficulties for about 10 years. And the, what we look for all the time is the underlying cause of difficulty for somebody's reading. And we have found that they all fall into about seven different underlying causes. And once we understand somebody's cause of difficulty by recognizing the patterns, we can deliver the right support they need to see progress. And when we get it right, it, you know, it's magical the results you can get. So I'm gonna quickly go through the seven patterns that we see and guide you towards more information on each of those that you find is familiar. The first, and by far the most important, is what we call optolexia. It's a, it's a problem with reading due to an attempt to sight read and memorize words and guess the ones that they're not sure of. The pattern of this is that you'll see uh, the person go onto a plateau of reading at some stage between six and nine. They can be quite fluent sometimes if they're very good at it, but they will make mistakes with little short words which are very surprising. Their comprehension won't be as good as you'd expect. Uh, and they'll be doing a, a lot of guessing usually. They'll usually find long words easier than short words because there's a lot more context there and their spelling will be appalling except for sometimes in spelling tests where they can memorize something overnight and get eight, nine, or even 10 out of 10. Of course, two weeks later, they won't be able to spell those words, but overnight they can. That is optolexia and you should go to link number one to see more information on it. My second cause of reading for you is eye tracking difficulty. Uh, the eye tracking of your is, is very important for reading and sometimes people find that hard if, they, if their eye tracking is a little bit weak. Uh, the, the, the main indication of this is that they can read single words like on a flashcard quite competently uh, by decoding them and, and all that good stuff. But when they look at a sentence or a paragraph, they've struggled much more uh, and you, you, sometimes you see them just completely overfaced by a page of text and they won't engage with it at all. Other times it's less strong but they, there's a clear difference between their ability when they're reading sentences to reading single words. That is caused by eye tracking difficulty and you should go to our link number two for more information on that. The third issue I'm going to talk to you about is ear syndrome. The eyes are very good at picking out contrast and sometimes this is oversensitive to black on white, uh, the black text on the white background. Uh, what you will hear is somebody talking about the words moving around on the page and that's a sort of like a little shimmer that most of us get for instance with red on, on blue is a quite difficult contrast for most of us. If you've heard that then go to link number three and I can give you more information on it. The fourth issue that I want to talk to you about is short-term memory difficulties. These are very significant and make reading progress hard, but they don't stop somebody becoming a competent reader at all with the right support. Over, Usually it takes months for them to achieve the goal, but we, we can get there. Uh, the, the, the main indication of this is that somebody can, can decode, but they, it's always a struggle. They work through the words, they find the blending hard, and then they go to the next word, they've forgotten the first one. The whole thing is a grind. You know, they, 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 they can't enjoy reading. Uh, they, they do learn the processes, but it's all very, very slow and difficult for them. That's caused by a, a weak short-term memory and uh, with the right support they can work through it and end up competent. But for more information on that, look at link number four. The fifth issue that I want to talk to you about is a fluency block. Uh, you'll find some uh, children do learn to decode uh, and can read like that but they never go from decoding to fluent reading. They just sort of decode faster and faster. And of course, that's not really what we're after. You know, the decoding stage is a stepping stone through to fluent reading. And if you've seen that, then have a look at 
Link number five, because there's a lot of information there for you. My issue number six is attention deficit problems. Uh, these are becoming more and more prevalent uh, for various possible reasons. Uh, if you've seen somebody having difficulty holding their focus on the task of reading, then uh, link number six is the one that you want to look at. Okay, we're on to my final uh, cause of difficulty, which is uh, stress spirals. Uh, sometimes what you'll see is that uh, somebody will, will begin to have a difficulty with the reading, and that will kick off uh, a stress reaction. And that shuts down their thinking capacity, which makes the reading harder, so they get more stressed. And that can lead to violence, it can lead to tears, it can lead to somebody storming off. If you've seen any of that, then go to link number seven uh, for more information as to what's causing that and what the solution is. That is all my set of seven, and I hope one of them has been familiar to you. Sometimes people will have far more than one. You know, sometimes when we're interviewing somebody, we're picking up patterns of five, six, or even pretty much seven of the set. Uh, so it can be complex, but as you work through each of them and deal with each of the problems with a clear head, what we find is that the issues normally drop away and you can start to see progress and that's what it's all about.